This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're in London today, one month out for a big night of action in Sheffield, on the bill in an IBF final world title eliminator. Kid Galahad, kid, how are you? I'm good, thank you very, very much, sir. How are you? Very good, thank you for asking. Boxing Social, let's talk. Uh, you're facing Claudio Marrero, as I've just mentioned, in a world title eliminator in Sheffield, yeah. February 8th. How happy are you to be one step away again from challenging for that world title? Um, I'm over the moon, you know. Um, I can't wait. I'm fully focused on Claudio Marrero, 8th of February, Sheffield Arena. I've got to do a number on this kid and get this kid out of the way. You know, uh, it's going to be a very, very tough, tough night for me. This kid's very well seasoned. He can box, he can punch, and um, I'm just looking forward to it now. As you mentioned, it looks like Claudio can, can punch a bit. He's a southpaw. He's mixed it at a good level. How much of yourself and Dom seen of him going into this fight? You know, I've watched his, uh, probably watched one or two of his fights. I don't really watch many fights, to be honest with you, kids. But I know from the fights, watching him, the kid can fight. You know, He's a former IBO, WBO uh, world champion, and uh, he's been beat by top, top kids. And... You know, he's, he's very well rounded. You know, he comes from a good pedigree, amateur pedigree. He comes from a very well seasoned pro as well. So, you know, it's going to be a very tough night for me. Do you think this will bring out the best in you? 100%. You know, I've got to be 100% going there and beat this kid. Can't afford to make no mistakes because one mistake with this kid and it could be very bad for me. You've got yourself in a world title eliminator. Kel's been here today, sort of looking at a springboard towards big fights later in the year. Yeah. You've got Liam Williams in the gym as well, who's just had a good win against Atlantis Fox. What's the mood like in camp at the minute? Imagine it's buzzing. It's going good, you know. Uh, it's always good in our gym, you know. We've got, we're flying at the minute, you know, like, like you said, Liam Williams just come from a fantastic win. You know, 100%, I believe William, Liam Williams will be a world champion. Uh, Kel Brook's going to get himself back in the mix this year. I'm going to get myself back in the mix this year, you know, and, and we could have, you know, two or three world champions in gym. Now, obviously, the, a win would put you in line for that rematch with Josh Warrington if certain things fell into place. Should all be well February and you are mandatory for the IBF title, do you expect that Josh Warrington would, would be willing to face you again or not? Or do you not think about I it? I don't really know, you know, I'm not focused on, you know, if he does or if he doesn't. All I know is February the 8th. I've got a guy in front of me, a very dangerous live opponent, a kid called Claudio Marrero. And, um, you know, I've just got to be focused on this and make sure, you know, I get through this. Because if I don't get through this, then, you know, there's not going to be no world title shot for me. You know, I don't care what's happening or when the fight's going to happen. All I need to, all I'm focused on is, is February the 8th and Claudio Marrero. Just to take matters away from yourself briefly, Barry. Uh, we do expect Josh Warrington faces Shakur Stevenson. Unification, possibly a main leads. Yeah. Were that fight to happen, how do you see it playing out? Um, I think it's a 50-50 fight. You know, I, I believe you know uh, it's going to be a tough night for both of them. You know, uh, Warrington's a lot better than people think he is. Shakur Stevenson's not very seasoned as a pro. You know. Warrington is very well seasoned and his game. You know, he's going to be in Ellen Road as well. And if they asked me who would you want to win, I'd say Josh Warrington, because then the day I'd want another fellow Brit to win, you know, and um, it'll make it'll bring the titles back to England, South Yorkshire, and you know, it's an even bigger fight for me. Should Shakur Stevenson win, would you be willing to travel to the states if that fell into place? Yeah, one hundred percent, you know. But I'm just focused on February the eighth, Sheffield Arena, and getting this kid Claudio Murray out of the way. You know, whoever what happens between them happened between them I'm not focused on them two right now I'm just focused on Claudio Marrero Just to talk about Kel quickly he's behind you there talking to the press you both seem very fired up today Kel looks in great shape as does yourself Kel's in there with Mark De Luca uh, on February 8th a month from now how's he been looking in camp and how great is it to have him back in and around the gym in recent months as well? You know, Kel's looking in fantastic shape he's, uh, he's hungry he's got the you know the hunger back with Kel it was just about you know getting the right fights he stepped he took a year out you know, I think he fought after, you know, his last fight. Other world champions want to fight him. In this game, you're never entitled to nothing. And sometimes you've got to take three or four small fights to get to the big fights. And that's just that's just how it is. You know, you might have special fighters or big name fighters who, who can get big names all the time. But, you know, Kel's a dangerous opponent. 100% Kel Brook will be, I believe, will be any 154er. And I just think he just needs to stay focused, stay in the gym. Hopefully, you know, he fights, like we said, he fights in February the 8th, beats his kid. Then he might need to fight someone else again to get a final minute. I don't really know. But he just needs to stay focused, 
and stay winning and just keep on it and he will get to where he wants to get Final thing before I let you go Barry I appreciate you've done a lot of media today after your workout next one we've got a huge heavyweight rematch Tyson Fury going back out to America to face Deontay Wilder what's your breakdown of the fight how do you see it playing out this time um, I, do you know what I believe that you know Wilder will win this time you know uh, sorry Wilder I mean Fury will win this time just because you know he's learnt from the, the first fight and you know I think Fury's gone in there and he's seen what Wilder can do. And if anyone's going to adjust and chop and change, it's going to be Fury because no one, I don't believe there's any fighter who can adjust and chop and change as well as Fury. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a hell of a fight. It's going to be one exciting night. OK, I'll leave the final word with you, Kid Galahad. What do we see February 8th from yourself? You're going to see a fantastic boxing lesson. Uh, it's going to be fireworks. This kid can come fight for fun. And it's going to be a very hard night for me. And, you know, uh, I've got to be 100% and make sure this kid, you know, uh, put him in his box from the get-go. Thank you, as always, speaking of boxing social. Best of luck.